I did it. I shouldn't have, but I did it. I apparently didn't learn my lesson with The Sims 3. I've bought every single bit of DLC, expansion, game pack, item pack, furniture, whatever pack, toddler pack. I bought every bit of DLC for The Sims 4. I should not have done this. I really shouldn't have. A good tip for life is to never follow the actions of what Mickey D does. Take that advice. Throughout this whole video, take that advice with you. Now the nice thing about this all is that The Sims 4 DLC was on sale at the time I bought it. And how much did every bit of DLC DLC cost at 50% off? 500 euro. It could have been a grand. So I guess that's good. EA Games. I spent 500 euros on The Sims 4. Now when I bought every bit of DLC for The Sims 3, yes I did that too for all the new viewers. I spent about 150 euros on that game and it ran abysmally. It's a completely unoptimized mess. Now I was told after my Sims 3 video that there's mods that optimize the experience. It can make the game run smooth. Not perfect, but smooth if you're running every bit of DLC. So that's probably what I'll be using if I ever want to go back to The Sims 3. Surprisingly, I'm expecting The Sims 4 to be a little more stable with every single bit of DLC installed. Mostly because it has less to load because it's a smaller game with a lot of stripped back features EA games. So yeah I'm not expecting this game to run terribly but we're gonna boot it up and see what it's like running this game with every single bit of content installed. I spent a lot of money you could remortgage a house with this money and I'm not joking. The best part is I woke up this morning and on the feckin Sims Twitter page they were advertising more DLC packs for like May and June. I'm not buying those I've bought enough. I have all the recent packs. I have everything. It's gonna come to a point where I don't have everything and I spent 500 euros on everything. I'm gonna be saying 500 euros a lot because it's a lot of goddamn money. Now I may be getting a lot of folks saying like, oh why didn't you just pirate it and all that crap. Look, I'm gonna take the fall here. I'm gonna pay the money and I'm gonna see what the experience is like. Piracy I feel defeats the kind of purpose for this kind of video and also YouTubers can't exactly advocate piracy so I'm gonna take the fall. Even though it's an extremely dumb fall, I'm gonna take it. Some EA executive is getting a payday because of this. Look, at the end of the day, I'm buying all of this so the majority of you don't have to. I'm hoping this video puts some people off the predatory practices of EA games with this amount of DLC for a game that's inherently stripped back from The Sims 3. I have to go into Steam and manually add every single bit of DLC one by one, all 53 of them. And it took about 20 minutes. I think there's like versions of Steve you can get that makes everything more convenient if you're like buying a bunch of DLC all at once. But I wanted to do it the painful way. Why did I think this was a good idea? It's fucking all the Sims 4 stuff. So how much Sims 4 DLC do I actually have? And just how many packs and expansions and items and everything else is there? Well, if you don't want to hear every single bit of DLC being read out, you can probably skip forward about 30 to 40 seconds because it's going to take a while to read. But I'm going to read every single one. I'm going to get my money's worth. We're reading them all. Alright, where's fucking Steam? <laughs> Let's see, The Sims 4 DLC manage my 51 DLC. So we have awesome animal hats, cats and dogs, digital deluxe edition, digital soundtrack, life at a party, up all night, backyard stuff, bowling night stuff, busted dust kiss, what? City living, cool kitchen stuff, cottage living expansion pack, country kitchen kit, courtyard oasis kit, digital deluxe upgrade, Dine Out, Discover University, Dream Home Decorator Game Pack, Eco Lifestyle, Fitness Stuff, Get Famous, Get to Work, Get Together, Industrial Loft Stuff, Island Living, Jungle Adventure, Kids Room Stuff, Laundry Day Stuff, Laundry Day Stuff, what are they on? Luxury Party Stuff, Moschino Stuff, that's a new word for me, I probably butchered that. Movie Hangout Stuff, My First Pet Stuff. My First Pet Stuff, by the way, is DLC for DLC. That's DLC for the Pets and Dogs DLC. My Wedding Stories Game Pack, Nifty Knitting, Outdoor Retreat, Paranormal Stuff, Parenthood, Perfect Patio Stuff, Realm of Magic, Romantic Garden Stuff, Season, Snowy Escape, Expansion Pack, Spa Day, Spooky Stuff, Star Wars, Journey to Bashu. I forgot about that one. Strangerville, Throwback Fit Kit, Tiny Living Stuff, Toddler Stuff, Vampires, and Vintage Glamour Stuff. Good golly holly. That wind in me to read all of that. So that's all of our DLC bought and installed. We're gonna see what the game experience is like. I'm gonna try and show off as many items as I can, as much DLC as I can. I'm not gonna be reviewing every single bit of individual DLC in this because that will take all fucking year and they're still releasing more. They'll probably have 10 more packs released by the time I put out this video, let's be honest. I did boot up the game once just to make sure it was working because I spent a lot of fucking money on it. And there were so many DLC pop-ups coming in. I had to like click all like 50 of them. There was just so many. There was a ton. I'm gonna play it in full and speed it up. 
Look at all that. Look at all the DLC I bought. I better get my half a grand's worth. Now luckily my Sims 3 video made the money back. But with this Sims 4 video, it's going to be harder to make that money back. Because I spent over half a grand on this fucking game. Now I'm not one of those YouTubers that likes telling people to like and subscribe and comment and all that guff. But I feel like here I kind of have to justify it and I need this video to do well. So... <laughs> Listen, if the video does bad, it's my own fault, but look, I'm just being honest. If you want, like this video, share it around with your friends, a comment always helps. I usually don't ask this sort of thing, but I feel like for this video it's kind of needed. Anyway, we're gonna jump into The Sims 4, we're gonna see how the game is, see how everything runs, and see if I got my money's worth. I think the answer is ultimately going to be no. I'll see you all in the game. The game is really hanging on the main screen here, by the way. There it goes. It took a while to load, not as long as The Sims 3, mind, but... Now here we are into The Sims, and it's advertising all this stuff to me, but thankfully I have it all, there's no more I can buy, at least as far as I know, and I think The Sims 4 doesn't have, like, the weird Sims coin thing for The Sims 3, because I bought everything for The Sims 3, but there was also this Sims store that I forgot existed that had a bunch more DLC, and overall would have cost more than all the expansions I bought if I bought it all. So that's fun. Uh, let's see, packs. Kits, I have everything. Expand my world. I bought fucking everything. Is this everything installed? I think it is. Is that Jimi Hendrix? Grim Ghoulish. Okay. I thought they had a Jimi Hendrix DLC. You already own this pack. Okay, so everything is installed. I have everything. You're D, Mickey D97. Yes, it's me. I'm the guy who gave you all my money. No wonder you're happy to see me. So we're going to jump into Character Creator very briefly. I've already made a character so that we can exit out of Character Creator so I'm not there all day. I've made my evil twin alter ego, Marty E. We're going to be playing as Marty later on. But for now we're gonna go into the character creator, see how many hairstyles we have, see how much clothing we have. And so far the game is running fine. Like it's loading okay, it's running pretty smooth. Compared to The Sims 3 it was freaking terrible. We have Stacey Salomon to start off here. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and recreate Todd Howard to the best of my ability. How do I just choose? I don't need to zoom, I don't need to get close. Stop zooming in very quickly, that's scaring me. Exit detail. Hello, my name is Slim. Shady. <laughs> I guess what I'm very clever now, I'm just kidding, our name's Todd Howard. See, EA Games just tried to sell you a bunch of DLC, Todd Howard tries to sell you the same game 50 billion times. What? I just hit randomize and I'm a robot? Excuse me? Excuse- I just hit randomize and I'm a robot? What is this robot mode? I don't understand. Are we entering robot wars? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna keep hitting the randomize button. This is interesting. They have weird eyes and everything. I suppose we'll be a young adult. Todd Howard is coming up in years, but we're gonna be a young Todd. He's gonna take on the industry. Oh, would you look, it's a high elf. Is this a fucking high elf? Am I playing Oblivion? I'm on an Elder Scrolls break. I wanted to play The Sims and it's just giving me Oblivion again. You know, that's Todd Howard's here. We're gonna work with this fella who's a fucking vampire with green eyes and uh, is having a remembrance. I'm sorry, he's remembering the day The Sims was actually a good series and wasn't fucking full of paywalls. 500 euros I paid for this product. Can I just have a sim that looks fucking not vampire-ish and everything and all that kind of stuff? Can I just have a human? I have so much stuff installed that it's just randomizing from everything. Okay, here's eyes. Even these eyes aren't really normal. What, what is this? It's all supernatural. Remember when this game used to be a life simulator? I do. That's normal. That's fine. I need a fucking reference picture of Todd Howard. What color are his big beautiful eyes? Okay, blue. Big piercing blue. You know, that that, that kind of looks like him. You know, I honestly really like The Sims 4 character creator. It's pretty in-depth. The game's running pretty smooth with everything installed. So here's all our facial hair options. Huh. There, there's a few. There's quite a bit. Okay, here's this. Short beards, goatees, mustaches. Grenade boss. Why are you casting magic? I don't want magic. Just I just want simplicity now for the moment. You're scaring me with all the choice. Big Skyrim beards. Uh, you can have that. You can have a wiry mustache like the weird kid in school always used to have. Stop casting fucking magic. He's not a friend of the animals. Todd Howard added rabbits to Skyrim to get killed. That's distracting. Can you stop doing that? We have a bunch of hairstyles and they're loading in quick. It's not laggy like the Sims 3 menu, thankfully. Oh, would you look at all this? You know, at least I'm getting my money's worth. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, you can be every single Fortnite character ever. Stop casting fucking magic. I'll give you magic. I'll make you go puff. I kind of like the new hairstyles. They're honestly a lot better than the ones in The Sims 3, I will say. And I like The Sims 3 a lot. Even though I think its hairstyle choice is a bit weak. The Sims 4 has better kind of stylized ones that kind of fit. Sully. I look like an extra in Zoe 101. Great. Go back to Todd. Yeah, so we have plenty of hair options, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what clothing is like. Here's all the tops. Here's everything. Look at all of that. Can I remove this? He's casting magic, it's annoying the piss out of me. Stop it. There, you stopped. Here's all our t-shirts, we can look through everything. 
<laughs> He's probably just chosen as like a magic character, but that's really pissing me off. So many options, can you cut it out for two seconds, buddy? You have all the hipster clothing and everything. Anyway, I saw Todd Howard's letter jacket. We can use that. Wait, why is this stuff locked? Why is it locked? Oh, you can only get it from vendors? I'm guessing that's like an in-game thing. Okay, knitting skill. If it's like in-game stuff you can get, I can justify that. That's honestly fine. That's not the one. Where's the one I found? There's the Todd Howard jacket. It looks just fucking like him. It was kind of like reddish brown. I think the brown suits a bit better. Anyway, there's loads of clothes and thankfully it's all loading in fine so if you're running all the dlc this game is honestly pretty optimized like it loads everything okay it's pretty well done it's a lot better than the sims 3 was i think people were saying the sims 3 is so unoptimized is because it's a 32-bit application kind of makes sense since it comes from the windows vista days Sully. i'm sick of them casting magic every two fucking seconds i know loads of people are gonna be like you have magic fucking vampire genie fucking aladdin mode enabled or something you idiot <laughs> there's loads of shoes options there's loads of hair options i'm honestly a bit hyped to have every Everything for The Sims 4. I want to give this game like a really good deep dive on it these days and see if everything's worth it. I'm likely going to keep all the DLC because I'm a YouTuber and I can probably make use out of it and hopefully I do make the money back but yeah otherwise if you're a general consumer don't fucking do this. Anyway here's Todd Howard. Here's all of his career ambitions. I thought we would have had more. There's like career ambition DLC and all that. There's like getting famous packs and all that kind of stuff. He likes location. These sims are happy when they're at home. Oh, there's more. Oh, that's interesting. There's more options when you click. Okay, never mind. There's actually quite a few. I take back what I said. I'm learning. I'm learning, audience. I'm learning. Computer whiz. Well, it is Todd Howard. Computer whiz it has to be. He needs to be a computer whiz to make Morrowind and completely forget about the game feckin' 20 years after Bethesda. Only Skyrim matters. He likes video gaming. I've never seen Todd Howard actually play a video game. Now, The Sims 3 did have a lot of traits and four they seemed a little bit more scaled back even though there's still quite a few it's just compared to three there's a lot kind of left out yeah evil yeah fucking that suits him <laughs> recycle <laughs> he's very good at recycling no one can deny that <laughs> i'm gonna save todd howard i might use him later The face kind of looks nothing like him, actually, I'll be honest, but I can't be bothered sculpting a face right now because I want to get into the actual game. Ooh, we can choose a season! When did Skyrim come out? November? Winter? Oh, there's a ton of cities here. Who would have thought the 500 euros worth of content would actually give you a ton of cities? Evergreen Harbor, Brightchester. I like the name of Brightchester. That sounds nice and homely. Oh, I like Del Saldo. Oh, I want to look at every single city. Let's try Brightchester, I guess. I hope you like there, Todd. I'm actually going to go back to the original character I made for this series. We're going to go back to Marty E. Now, we're going to leave Todd alone sadly he'll have a story for another time i just wanted to go through the character creator to show you everything i'm gonna play a character i made last night oh there's my fucking youtuber family i made a sims 4 video way back about putting youtubers into one house and i thought it was funny and it was my worst performing video ever so <laughs> so we've forgotten about that video we've forgotten about that one i made this character last night i did all the traits and everything i based them off me and my appearance sort of his name is marty e the tiny home residential is now available that's great play slot in the world okay that's fucking tiny Jesus, is that a Dublin apartment? It's fucking tidy. Oh, I'm very funny. Where's my lot? There's my house. You cannot place a lot. I don't know if I can put it in the small place. Yeah, there. Don't tell me I have to place every individual house one by one. I think this is just the starter town in The Sims 4. I'm going to play for a bit so we can encounter as much DLC as possible. How long is it going to take? I, can I get into the game, please? Oh, no, it's like The Sims 3, ain't it? I don't, no, I don't want to place anything. Ooh, that looks fancy. The haunted house. Oh, I have to. I have to place the haunted house. I'll put it next to me. Enjoy it, bud. Enjoy the haunted house. This is the thing that really disappointed me with The Sims 4. There's like an overworld, you can pick lots, but The Sims 3 had a completely open city. It's honestly the reason why that game probably doesn't run very well. The open world probably didn't help the performance of that game at the time, but... They still should have had it in The Sims 4. They could have optimized it like they're doing now. I don't need a restaurant. I don't need anything else. A lot was placed to use to move. Oh, yeah, feckin' I don't care. Get me into the game. We have a haunted mansion next to us. It's worth a lot of simoleons. Get me into Marty E. Save. Okay. <laughs> Just okay. That's all you have to say? Okay. I spent a lot of money. Act more enthusiastic. Streamlit single. Yeah, thanks. I know I'm single. You don't have to remind me. I'm just going to wait around and see if all the DLC stuff happens. So here's Marty E. You don't know what I look like, but here's a rough estimation, I guess. I'm not that handsome, but look. He just has a tiny telly. Oh, he has good taste in TV shows, to be fair. Good lad. Good lad yourself. I have all this DLC started, and I just went into the basic Sims world with a basic Sims house. All right, there's all the buildings and everything. We can visit all the buildings and households around us. So you can walk outside, but you can't, like, go in. I can't go here. Can I walk all the way down here? No, I have to travel with a car. Great. This game isn't as open as three. I just rewarded EA for making a much worse game with a bunch of money. Check dust level. Okay, have you been to the Black Spire Outpost on Batu? We're going, we're going, let's go, let's go. We're going to Star Wars, folks. How could I not turn that down?
this music better not fucking claim me. <laughs> While on Basu, you will use a different currency called Galactic Credits. Oh, it's like fucking Star Wars Galaxies. Plan your outfit at the dwelling. Oh, what is this? I've never played like a proper like story expansion for The Sims, like the weird castaway stuff and everything. Is that Jabba's Palace? We're on Basu. Is this a bad time to say that I never watched the sequel Star Wars movies? I saw the trailers from and I was like, nah, I won't actually, thanks. We're in the cantina. What kind of cantina music is this? You couldn't play the standard team? Oh, he's happy. Why are you happy? Oh, because there's great tunes going on? Is that a great tune? I don't know. What do you want? Ask about the first order. This is the Sims I'm still playing, right? How do I get home from here? Chicks he just says something about chicks. Oh, it's an alien kind of Sims person. It just looks off. This DLC was such a fucking cash grab. I'm just going to say it now. <laughs> Look at all these guys. They're happy. They're having casual discussions. This is Star Wars Galaxies, but shit. What can we do besides the cantina? The music is annoying me. Can we do anything with the Falcon? Can we scan it? I love if I could put the Ebon Hawk here. That'd be pretty cool. It looks presentable, at least. Where's my Sim, by the way? Oh, there he is. He's running to the Falcon. I don't think I want to be here too long. Hi, Stormtrooper. How you doing? Oh, I'm recording this on Star Wars Day, by the way. I have to say something for May the Force. A Jedi is never late, nor is he early. That's my favorite Star Wars quote. Can I do anything with you? More choices. Can I fuck him? Can I woohoo the weird space aliens? That's the true role-playing experience. I really am a Star Wars fan. I see an alien, and I immediately ask, can I fuck it? <laughs> Okay, this is boring. I think this costs like 15 euros to buy. Great, I'm already bored. Gone. Exit. Travel. Where's the travel option? How do I leave? How do I go back home? How do I leave Batu? Go back home. Go back. Go back home. I wanna leave. I don't wanna be here anymore. I'm looking it up. How to leave Batu. If your players are ready to end their vacation to Batu, you'll need to return to the phone and select travel home and the Okay, there's a phone. I forgot the Sims has a phone. Add to Simstagram. Oh, fuck off. Go home. End vacation. What a great vacation. I really learned a lot about myself. I just wanted to bang the Twi'leks and leave. That was the Star Wars DLC. <laughs> that was worth the money. I kind of wanted to keep the outfit. Hello. Hi, Megumi. Don't invite her in. You barely know her. <laughs> I thought he was going to start crying. The first time he sees a girl and he just starts bawling crying. It really is me. I'm just going to... Go back inside and wait for DLC to start. Yeah, go back in and check the dust level, actually. Sorry, babe, I have to check the dust. Oh, he's very happy about the dust level. He's just fine. I guess I'm gonna go into build mode and see how much DLC we have. Marty has no skills. It really is me. Okay, how much stuff do I have for my house? How much items and shit? We should have all the items in the world. I need a better bed. So let's start on that first. How many beds do I have? I can just buy full room plans? Oh, you can style a room. Can I just have a bed though? How many beds do I have? I have loads of beds. I have tons of beds. I could buy a pet bed for me if I want an upgrade. Oh, I found my bed. Oh, it's for a toddler. I probably can't fit in it. Fick. I want a big racing car bed for an adult. I'd sleep in that. I sleep in that now. It's very cool. Yeah, all of these came with DLC. I forget all the names for all the DLC. So the princess and the pineapple bed. Look at all the feckin' text for this one bed. There once was an urban princess who wished to wed a very wealthy urban prince. However, the prince's mother, the queen, was very present. I'm not reading all that. It's a fucking bed. I like this. It's very fancy. I'm gonna go through all my money though, and I need to buy all the DLC content right now for my one house. Monster free bed. That's nice. I like this. There you go. There'd be no monsters for you at night. There'd be no more demons in your head telling you to check the dust every single second of your life. He's fine now. He's, he's artist. We have loads of mirrors and stuff so you can look at your pathetic life. It has flowers on it though so you can do it in a nice way. <laughs> That's why we all have mirrors. Oh, look at all this stuff. We have loads of cupboards and barbecues and everything for summer. We have bird bats and everything to shower your sim in. Now, since I spent 500 euros on Sims 4 DLC, everyone knows that I'm good with my money. So I'm just gonna buy a bunch of broken urns and shit for my house. There we go. It's only 25? That's a steal. Absolute steal. Am I getting 500 euros worth? Not really. Now I do have to say the game is running very stable. It's running absolutely fine. I can't complain about performance at all. It looks great. Very presentable. A lot of strip back features though. It's a bit disappointing in that sense compared to 3 but I've already gone over that. Okay I just clicked on this tab and it's showing me some fella in his underwear. Why is it doing that? Oh this is all player made stuff right? Huh. You know what I want to see? Someone surely had this idea before me. Surely there must be hundreds. There has to be. Do do do. Yep. <laughs> this is the exact same character I made. Monarch, if you're out there. I wasn't trying to copy it. We just had the same idea. <laughs> we all had the same leather jacket idea. The leather jacket looks perfect though. Oh, that's brilliant. There's the feckin' Chad. Purr. Sexy. It just worked. A wooga. I love the Sims 4 community already. This game is pretty charming, I will admit. Even though it has its shortcomings, I do enjoy it a bit. I wouldn't say it's a bad game. It's just generally disappointing. Anyway, go back into the world. I just want DLC to happen. More DLC. More DLC. Stuff pop up. He is fine. 
What do you want? Sparkling, clean surroundings. It's a new house. What the fuck do you expect? Go look in your new mirror. Psych yourself up. Psych yourself up to record some Let's Plays, bud, like I do every morning. Usually after a big cry. Oh man, I can't wait to make loads of YouTube videos. I can't wait for my YouTuber's house, Sims 4 video, to get loads of views. Oh, I can't wait. His social meter is going down. There was the woman outside you were pestering. Was that not a good enough social outing for you? I don't know what the fuck is that? Is that a Nern route? Pick that. Oh, I have like ores and stuff outside my house. It's feckin' wow classic. He's just jogging to it outside. Who are you? Are you DLC? Travis Scott? Wait, isn't Travis Scott an actual guy? Did he just pick up a plant and now he's gonna dump it out? He's an American rapper. Yeah, <laughs> is the name's random. I didn't know Travis Scott was a white fella. Respectful introduction, I guess. He just feckin' arrived at my door. I like her flat cap. Do a funny introduction because you're a funny fella, Marty E. Marty E sounds like Arty. Look at everyone arriving at my house. Now, the weird thing about The Sims 4 is that I was expecting a bunch of DLC to just pop in at once. Because with The Sims 3, everything was like popping in. There was futuristic stuff appearing on my front lawn. And for The Sims 4, there's not much really happening. Oh, they're new neighbors and everything. There's not much of an indication that my DLC is loading in. I guess I need to move my Sims into a particular world. Okay, so I'm gonna save this world. I'm gonna go back to Todd Howard. I'm gonna move him into a new town that came with the DLC and see what happens. Like, I might move Todd Howard into the nightlife town. I love the nightlife expansion for The Sims 2. I wanna see what the nightlife is like for The Sims 4. See if it holds up. I'm gonna guess no. Marcy E missed you, I only left for two seconds. Can I move Todd Howard to a different town? I already picked a town for him, but can I just move him out? Winter, yes, we've decided that with Skyrim. Where's the night town? I'm guessing this is the night city? It looks like it is. Forgotten Hollow. Looks like fucking Stardew Valley. Oh, that's the creepy one. That's the creepy haunted vampire one. We'll just bring Todd to the city because all the city lovers love him. Oh, look at this. We'll give him a studio apartment. We only have 20,000 simoleons. Will I be able to afford a studio apartment? I don't think so. You can't afford this lot. I know you're not telling me how much money it's worth. I'm Todd Howard. I should be worth gangbusters. Oh, I can afford this one. There's gnomes. Great. Keemster is my neighbor. Just fucking move me in. Weekly rent 1200? I'm a YouTuber. I don't make money. Every bit of money I've made in my YouTube career has gone into saving up for this sims 4 dlc you think i could pay 1200 a week i'm broke i have no more money i have nothing i have nothing to my name lot traits there's just gnomes here i don't want gnomes todd todd are you todd who what your sims is fine i don't think he's fine what did you do to Todd Howard? Todd changed his feckin' personality? I have no idea what just happened. Apparently, I have a bed for a child. I should've looked at this a lot more. It's the same Todd Howard because he's a computer whiz and he's playing feckin' Lego Star Wars or some shit. He acquired a video gaming skill? Yeah, skill, true. Oh, look at that blurry feckin' ad on the outside. Oh, that's great. That looks fantastic. I paid half a grand for this. Have I been to Black Spire? Oh, <laughs> Let's go back to Star Wars. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Invite her. I don't know who she is. Do you want to come to Star Wars? Let's go back. <laughs> We're going back to Star Wars. I don't want free earbuds. What are these loading screens? First it just said okay to me, now it's talking about free earbuds. Welcome to Bashu, I've never been here before. This is a new experience for me. <laughs> what can we actually do here? This is the only DLC that wants to advertise itself to me. I'm just gonna be mean to everyone in the cantina. Still playing all the shit music? I'm already bored again, let's leave. <laughs> let's get out of here. Wait, I can travel? Where can I travel to? Travel with her. I, I, we're gonna bring her again. I don't know who she is. I don't know where we're gonna travel to, but we're gonna travel somewhere. Black Spire Outpost. The First Order District Resistance. Let's go to the First Order. That suits Todd Howard right to the ground. <laughs> Looking for a quick way to change emotion. Oh, it's actually giving me a useful loading screen tip this time. This is a lot like modern Star Wars in the way that it's incredibly disappointing and underwhelming. What the f- let's, just, let's talk to you. Ask about the First Order. I'm one of you. Oh, he doesn't look evil at all. Him and Todd Howard are gonna get along like a house on fire. Don't you look absolutely great. I, I forget what I picked. I did I tell him to go home? Where did he go? Did he exit? I don't know what's going on. I spent a lot of money on this. <laughs> oh, he went back to the output. Just go home, but fucking end vacation. Volunteer. Wait, volunteer? Volunteer's tribute. Volunteer to bake sale. Volunteer to nursing home. Go to the soup kitchen. Help some lives there. He just disappeared. Todd's at the soup kitchen. Is he gonna come back? He's a kind soul. Why is he angry? Oh, he's evil. I forgot about that. End vacation. You're pissing me off. I think I'm gonna go back to my other sim. Complete whims to earn satisfaction. I'm not very satisfied, loading screen. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I'm not gonna save this world. I don't want to save it because my Todd just broke. I don't know how. <laughs> Someone will tell me why. See, he looks normal there. He has this feckin' jacket and everything. Just go back to Marty. I don't want to play anything. <laughs> just bring me home. Resume playing E. I forgot his family name is E because his name is just Marty E. As toddlers gain communication, toddlers are stupid. Buy seeds, I don't want seeds. I don't need to reproduce. I make terrible choices like buying all the Sims 4 DLC. Oh look, my character is reflecting me in this moment right now. Walk to fight disease, go for a walk, but if I can do something useful. Oh, he'll be back in a minute. Are you enjoying all the Sims 4 action? This is boring. <laughs> 
I'm just playing long enough to get a lot of use out of my DLC. I guess when he comes home, I'll try and buy some more stuff. God, that walk is taking a long time. He's not having much fun. I know the feeling, but I know the feeling. I am waiting around. At least this is playable, unlike The Sims 3, which is horribly unoptimized. But you can download mods for that, which do help. But if you're playing the base Sims 3, yeah, the game's going to be a horrible mess. Especially if you have everything installed like I did. I should really get going now. Great. Uh, you probably should have left when I left. Anyway, we're home. Aren't you glad to be home? Have some fun. Watch some telly. Watch the action channel. He's going to watch Action Man. Was there an Action Man TV show? There better have been. I'm going to go back into building mode, I guess. Can I do anything like construction wise? Oh, terrain tools. Here we go. I love this stuff. Oh, the game's running slow now. Oh, no. The performance just died the second I went into construction mode. 500 euros well spent. Okay, I'm painting the floor. I don't even have that amount of space to work with. This is my yard. It should be. I paid good money. This is the only amount of yard space I get to work with. Can I lift the terrain? There you go. Big mountain. Big mountain. There you are. Fucking... <laughs> I just have big tits on my fucking lawn. That's great. Keep those. I'm a very mature 25-year-old. Can I go back to, like, normal build mode? Is the game running okay now? It's running really slow all of a sudden. I've destroyed my house completely. You can crawl up that mountain for fun if you're bored. My neighbors are just going, what the fuck is he doing? He's building a wall. Are we next to Trump or something? <laughs> Remember when I said this game was running fine and it's actually well optimized? Well, uh, I take that back now. How many tellies do I have? I, do, I, I have a few. An orthodox box gaming console. I guess this is like Xbox. Curtains, drawers. There's loads of curtains and stuff. I'll buy a curtain there. Buy that, I guess. I have one curtain. Great, so my neighbors can't see in. They can't see in anyway. <laughs> big fucking mountain blocking their view. You're not allowed to see how poor I am. This is painful. I can't even play in build mode properly because the game is running so slowly. It was running fine a while ago. Why is it not optimized? now oh it's just like the sims tree all over again i know it's may but he's really excited about christmas is there like a christmas pack there was a christmas pack for the sims 2 i bought it i don't know why but i bought it back in the day there's kitchen counters there's fridges can we buy like a big wacky fridge i like that i'm gonna waste all my money on one fridge since i'm so shit with my money in real life i'm gonna be shit with my money in the sims and i'm gonna buy just the shittest fridge ever there you go that's that's nice i guess that's a gamer fridge there you go. What's another shit thing I can buy? I need to waste all my money. That's a cool stove. Out with the new one. Oh, it's running horribly. <laughs> Don't do this for anyone watching. I know you're not going to do this because it's a shit ton of money. And who with an actual smart brain would ever think this is a good idea to do? But don't do this. Just in case you weren't swayed enough already. Uh, okay, I bought an oven that looks fucking weird. I still have plenty of money. All this stuff isn't really that expensive. Can I buy a nice light? <laughs> the games are gonna crap out on me. Oh, we have loads of lights. Oh, and it's loading very slowly. You get loads of lights. I paid 500 euros for loads of light options. We have a cube light by Seymour. Do we have a Super Nintendo Charmers light? There you go. Have a light. Was that worth the 500 euros? I need to exit out of build mode because this is frustrating to deal with. Oh, and the actual game's running horribly too now. I don't think there's much more I can do now. The game's running terribly. I think I have to end it off now. So that was The Sims 4 with every bit of DLC and stuff. <laughs> Oh, this was horrible. This was absolutely horrible. Why did I think this was a good idea? The game was running fine a while ago. Why? What is up with our walk? This game is weird. This game is strange. What do I say to end off this magnificent educational experience? These practices by EA are really shady and really evil. I know my character has the evil personality trait, but the real evil ones are EA. Uh, fuck you, buds. Fuck you. Oh, I shouldn't have given them the money. I'm not setting a very good example, but it might sway a bunch of other people for not paying for Sims 4 DLC. And I think that's enough. I think that's just enough. At least that's what I tell myself to sleep at night. I'm probably not going to do this again where I buy a bunch of DLC for a bunch of games. Like, I'm not going to spend three grand on Train Simulator. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on DLC for other games to see what the experience is like because I don't want to give any more money to Shady and awful developers. The Sims 4 is a really stripped back and bare boned, emotionless, horrible experience with all the fucking DLC and shit and they're bringing out more. Most of it doesn't add anything of substance. With The Sims 3, with most of the DLC I installed, a lot of it was popping up the moment I moved into my house and it was showing me it was installed. In this game, the only thing that really appeared was the Star Wars one. In fact, it appeared twice. And uh, I guess that's what I paid for. I could always play more and uh, invest into the other DLC packs to see if they're worth it. Maybe I can do a part two. If you want to see that, let me know and maybe I can learn some tips and ideas into getting into other DLC packs and see if they're worth anything and see if that was worth the money. But for now, I'm going to end off. Don't do this. Don't be stupid like me. But I made this for the video just to see how the game would run. It runs terribly. Play The Sims 2 instead. That's all I have to say. Go to bed. Go to bed in your laggy world. Sit and gloat over your terrible life. Turn off the telly. Just sit in your bed, bud. Sit in your bed. Don't go to the fridge. I don't care about your new fridge. It's shite. Sit in your bed. Have a think about your life. I don't know if I'll be able to make rent this month.